what's good with y'all y'all tuning in for another video man as y'all see by the title i know people been wanting to know this uh the bill not officially over but i want to do this video because i was shocked myself so today what i got planned man when it when it picked up on um, when it picked up my oldest and all that got the girls with me stuff she gotta go dance practice so after that then uh then i'm head to the shop and uh we're gonna get the transmission to uh to my boy DJ since it's out the car the, the transmission for the Camaro and all that. Then I'ma head back to the house and uh then we're gonna talk about what this video is about basically. Um uh, cause a lot of people I get comments asking like you know how much I done spent so far. I was trying to wait until the car actually fired up and you know had oil pressure then I was gonna do that video but I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all an update cause when I added it up I made a post on my Facebook I made a post on my Facebook and uh, I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna do that post at the end of the series, asking people to guess how much they think I spent uh, in the car or going to spend to get it cranking up. And some of the guesses, I was like, man, I don't know what these people talking about. They crazy. So I added up myself, and uh, I was shocked. I just say that I was I was really shocked. Uh, so that's what this video about, man. I'm trying to get y'all some consistency. Consistency. Cause I've been slacking, man. Caught the rain and stuff, and like I said, all my whips down right now and all that. That's why I said I might go ahead and buy a third one. Well, a fourth one, really, another G body, a fourth old school car. Like, man, all this right here killing me, man. Got no whip running, nothing to do. Y'all see this rain? It's rain all the time. So, but uh, stay tuned in, man. I said we're gonna head to the shop and get that. Then I'm get back to the house, set the camera up on the tripod and all the good stuff. Then I'm gonna talk to y'all. So. If you don't want to hear no talking video, then you might need to slide on out, exit stage left, you know what I'm saying, and all that, because this is about the cost and what I've spent so far to up to the point of where I'm at now, so i catch y'all in a minute, y'all stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, y'all, so we got, we got, uh, my boy DJ just pulled up in the shop, we're about to pick the transmission up, I told y'all. Showtime transmission rebuilds everything. DJ, what's going on, brother? What's up, man? What's up, Jay? Hey, what's hey, up, look, man? what? Got look, got a little man. What's going on? Say what's up. What's up? Yeah, man. So we got DJ head here, man. We done, I told I told everybody when we broke something, but I like uh I always tell y'all I keep it real now. I said it, it wasn't him. It wasn't him. It ain't nothing he did. I just told him what I think the car was making power, <laughs> power wise, and you know, all off. I was off. I mean. So it is what it is, but this time, like uh, somebody said in the comment, overbuild it. That's what we're gonna do, obviously. So uh, we know what we're dealing with now, and uh, we're gonna get it back. So, and I'm gonna try to, uh, I'm gonna try to slide over with uh, to DJ, to DJ uh, spot, so y'all can see how he get down and did it one time. And uh, he got a channel too. He got a channel, so. I'm going to give y'all all that information at the end of the vlog and all that because he got a channel. He got a, he got a night truck too. He got a night truck, man. I might throw a clip in there right now. <laughs> but uh, y'all saw that clip. You know, y'all make sure I'm going to put his channel below. I'm going to go ahead and put it down below now. And then y'all go ahead and subscribe too. Let's get his, get his subscribers up. Quick, fast, in a hurry. He's gonna have some fire content coming out. So, I'm gonna get it put on the back of the truck and then I'm um, show y'all what we got going on with John Jones suspension wire. And we're gonna catch y'all in a minute. Hey, y'all, I gotta show y'all this, this shirt. My boy DJ just gave me. I suppose the Ben got this shirt a long time ago. This thing real nice. Y'all get in it for a shirt too. They go with contact information right there. Hit them up. So y'all make sure he hit him up. He does all my transmission. He did the transmission for the uh, big rim car too. It's a manual valve body. Then yeah, look, I got a special shirt. Got a special shirt. So yeah, got we got the J Malcolm 2004 on the back. So yeah, so you get a shirt now. It, it ain't gonna have all that. You can get your name on the back. Got to become a uh, a A1 customer for all that. But it will look like this. He got different colors available. This color I wanted. So hey. I told DJ again when telling my video. Appreciate the shirt. And this the new logo. I I actually designed it for. Him. I told him, hey man, DJ, we're gonna we're gonna step step it up, man, change it up. So designed the logo for him too. So that's a little fun fact. 
look that far. So appreciate sir DJ. Alright, y'all, so I'm um, back at the house. Um ready to go over the parts cause man. I was gonna put it on the tripod and all that. Got my Xbox, man. I got my Xbox updating and stuff right now. There were y'all see me looking out. There were y'all see me looking at. Yeah. I be on them games too, man. I play them Xbox. I'm a gamer too, boy. I'm a gamer at heart. So y'all be on the Xbox. Sometimes drop a gamer tag, man. I get full added. I be on that Forza and stuff sometimes. And other little stuff. But anyway, man. So I wanna go over the parts cost. Like I said, this video kinda plain Jane. Like it ain't it ain't nothing going on, man. I'm uh tomorrow. I'm going to go get some springs. Tomorrow should be a box shit video or the next video. At least before the month then, it'll be a box shit video call. I found out something. I got to make a change as far as the engine. Just found out. Uh, so I'm going to have to be making a summit run. So I'm going to be going to summit racing. Uh, got to spend some more money. And uh, it's going to be a good video call. It just goes to show sometime, man, when you piecing an engine together and stuff, man, you, you, you got to know what you're doing. You got to know what you're doing, and I didn't even think about the moves I had made before I made it. So, learn from me. That's why I'm doing these videos. I hope people watching the series and all that. Man, I got parts and stuff laying all over. Look, y'all probably wondering. <laughs> I ain't never show y'all this, but I got two helmets. I got two helmets right there. Got my helmet over there. I got everything, man. I got parts here. Well, I got my uh, my exhaust stuff sitting on the floor. I done showed y'all this before, man. I got my muffler on still, Wayne. Uh, for the till we get the car crunk up and uh, what is it? Oh, that's the X pipe. Said bracket. This something from the, when I built the truck, man. I don't even need it. This something I built the truck. Space is over there, like that's a helmet over there. Y'all probably wonder what all these helmets. The amp. Then this right here, I might get this away. That's one. That's a chrome timing chain cover. It's brand new. I might give it away. It's a quick. It's for a, a quick cam change, like. So the center of it. So you ain't got to, basically, you ain't got to take the whole time to cover off. You want to change the cam, man. I don't need nothing souped up like that, so. What? Wait a minute. I don't know. I'm totally going to be looking at my head box. But, not to prolong, y'all. Um, Let's get into the cost. So, look. If you made it this far in the video, for one, I appreciate you. Because I know people, people or attention span be short. If the camera get to move around, y'all, bear with me. I ain't got it on the tripod and all that. Uh, make sure I'm light enough. Yeah, but uh, before if you made it this far, go ahead and pause the video. I want y'all to comment below how much y'all think I've spent so far. Not not how much you think I'm gonna I'm spend in total getting the car running, but basically, hold on. Let me let me let me reiterate that. Yeah, comment below how much you think it cost me to get this car running. Cause technically I'm finished. I, I done I done paid for everything, with the exception of what I gotta do now. Uh which I talk to y'all about in the next video. But comment below how much you think it has cost me up to this point for this car. I mean, to get it running and for the rims and stuff. You know the rims and all that. So comment below. The reiterate card. I know I said all I was all over the place when I just said that. Comment below how much you think I got in the car already, basically. To 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 the point where it's at now. Rims and all. So I got my notes. Uh let me see. Oh, uh, let me find it. I gotta find it. Let me find it, man. Uh so I was shocked. I can say this, I was shocked. When I saw uh when I saw and added this stuff up, I was really shocked like how much I spent. Man, where is the note? Okay. I think this is it. I got I got so many notes, man. I log all my workouts and everything, like I'm a real organized person, so let me see. I think this is it. Hold on, I got it. Hold on. My bad, y'all, I gotta I think I got it in my pizza say yep there I go right there okay so basically grand total uh, I ain't even put the total in no alright but I remember but grand total I spent ninety five hundred dollars and some change I rounded everything off somebody else 
somebody else, it would have been ten thousand dollars. And I was like, man, it's crazy. Ten thousand, pretty much ten bands, and look at how the car look. It ain't flashy. That's cheap rims, like, and this a budget. This is a budget big rim build. I mean, I I started going a little crazy on the top end of the motor, but I still was budget oriented. You know, if I was trying to build a real performer, I've been way in, way in. You know, so the breakdown, the part breakdown so far is the uh the uh engine and the labor originally was. Three thousand. That's a that's a hell of a deal. I mean, that's my uncle, man. Yeah, he cut me a deal. Like, hey, what do you expect, man? Like, yeah, he cut me a great deal. Like, that was the original price. Three bands. It was going. The engine was going to be way more turned down than what it is now. But that that was well, me. I added so three thousand for that. Then uh, the rims. I paid fourteen hundred for the rims. Twenty eights. It was a hell of a deal, man. The tires are pretty much brand new. The rims are in great condition. The rims like brand new, like fourteen hundred dollars for the twin eights. I grabbed them back in December. Uh, the transmission. Now, the transmission is came out of my truck. It came from my S10 build. But if somebody had to build that exact transmission, like I said, you can get that Showtime transmission rebuilds. His uh, his information below uh, every video. But that transmission is a 350 uh, forward manual valve body. And with the transmission, it would probably have been, I'm trying to think what they cost to build that transmission. I think $600. Five or $600. Don't get me wrong. Call call DJ, man. Call Showtime Transmission Rebuilds and all. He'll give you the price on that. But I didn't have to spend that 500 so I didn't add it in. If I would have, because like I said, if it wasn't a transmission I had from the truck, now I had to get one fresh, then I've been at the ten thousand dollar mark. So that's why I came up with ninety five hundred. And y'all can re y'all can add all this stuff up again, you know, to make sure. But I'm pretty if I remember right, it was ninety five hundred dollars. But so we had we had three thousand engine and labor. And that's a that's a hell of a deal. Fourteen hundred for the twenty eights was another deal. Uh the valve covers they cost uh the valve covers were sixty six dollars. Like I said, I had the link in the video if you want the valve covers and stuff. Uh, the Billy Aluminum uh, Dual Line. I got a dual dual line to go in the carburetor. It's a Billy. It's a Billy Dual Line, and uh, it was forty dollars. And then the three row. I got an aluminum radiator, which was one hundred and forty one dollars. The exhaust, which I've already paid for. Like I said, I got all my I got all my stuff in line, man. If I uh if I really rock with you. You know, and I trust you, man. I pay my people off, just off top. So I already paid Jesse over at Lawless Street Cars. He do some sick exhaust. He'll do aluminum exhaust too, if you if you want some real perform. But you got to spend that check for aluminum exhaust. I'm telling you now. But I paid four hundred dollars for that for the exhaust work. Uh, the brakes, the brake components, AC components, the lugs, the new lugs and studs for all four wheels. Uh, I paid. 839 which is is a deal it's a deal i'm telling y'all some of these prices if this was somebody else if this was somebody else man they would have been over 10 bands they would have been over 10 bands if this was somebody else Cause even some of my components i'm getting deals on so uh you know but uh then other miscellaneous parts you know i might have picked up here and there like gauges and all of that 239 dollars uh header gasket tack and thermostat, uh, $119. That was a, hey, like I said, the, the tack was brand new. The tack cost that by itself, so I got deals on that. Uh, the heads were $1,000. The head gaskets were $211. The Super 44 Flowmaster mufflers were $170. Then, uh, what else we got? Let me see. Oh, the X pipe was $21. The power stern pump brackets were thirty-five dollars. Then we got the intake, which was two hundred and ten dollars. <laughs> that that that's really finna change, cause that's that's what I gotta change. I gotta holler y'all about that. So that price gonna go up. The uh fuel pump, the fuel pump was one. What did I tell you? That's tight. One one sixty. And the shifter cable, which I saw over there, was sixty-seven dollars. Cause I got the 
And I didn't have to spend that much for a shifter cable, but I got the heavy duty one, the 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 good one. So then you got the speakers and amp. I caught a deal on from my cousin, little crazy whips addiction. Make sure to go uh, subscribe to him. Um, the speakers and amp were two hundred dollars, and I paid fourteen hundred dollars for the car itself. So y'all add that up. Well, when I add it up, if I remember right. I kept everything at zeros, I think. It was like 9,500. It was it was 95 and some change, but I was really shocked like that it I done spent that much money because you don't see it, man. I ain't I ain't been messing with this car long, man. I really want to push it out fast, so I announced the build in November, I think. November, we we in February, so you know that money go fast. Like that don't that don't add up quick, like real quick. And I'm I'm still gotta spend some more money. Y'all know I got the seats. We ain't even factoring in the seats. I got out the Impala. If you would have went to a junkyard and bought them seats, then, you know, it's a lot of stuff I got deals on or I already had. Pretty much would have put it at over $10,000. So, and I'm doing stuff on a, kind of on a budget level, pretty much. On a budget level. Yeah, on the flow masters and stuff like that. I could have shopped around and found some used. But I'm doing stuff on a budget level still. The motor is still not extreme and all of that. Uh, so you imagine what these guys spend that building big rim cars. I mean, I'm I'm a part of the culture and stuff. But even if it's a person watching this video that that's not into that stuff, just this to give people put in perspective, like all this stuff costs. Especially the guys that really perform. You know, they they cars really run like get down. And then you know my car is gonna be more than that in it because I still gotta buy the nitrous kit. Which I'm gonna buy new. I don't. I don't buy uh, nitrous stuff used. I mean, I just don't. Even if it's somebody I know and trust, I still don't buy it used. Cause parts fail, and with nitrous, you don't want no. You don't want no cylinder to fail, cause it can get catastrophic, be ugly. So I just buy my nitrous stuff used. So I still gotta buy a nitrous kit, which is gonna cost between eight to a thousand dollars. I'm gonna run a dedicated fuel system. So you're talking about a one gallon fuel cell. It's gonna cost or uh, the line, the fuel line and stuff. So it's gonna be over ten grand in the car with the labor. It's it's really like I said, my aunt cut me a deal in that. Cause even if you uh with the labor, even if you take the three thousand out and you're talking about just parts alone, it's still it's still seventy five hundred dollars in parts, you know. Then you're talking about like I said, an eight to a thousand dollar nitrous kit, which gonna push it over uh eight thousand. And then I'm gonna change the wheels and stuff later on, but spill the spoiler alert. <laughs> I ain't gonna say what, but um, yeah, stuff add up, man. Oh, I ain't even factoring the uh, LEDs. I ain't even got that on there yet. The LEDs I got up there. Um, like I said, it's probably over ten grand now, realistically. Cause I'm sure I'm missing little parts, but it really shocked me that I done spent that much in that car and look at how it looks. <laughs> I mean. It just goes to show that money add up quick when you're building a car, even if you're building a hot rod. Like my Camaro, I caught a deal on my Camaro. I spent I spent twelve thousand five hundred dollars for that car, but I put X Y Z amount of money in it now. I mean, but easily you can't build that car for that much. I mean, especially with the power and stuff it make, you know, then I'm still adding stuff to that. So when you build a car, it stuff add up before you know it, man. Even on a small level. Now, it's some stuff you can do different. Like, if you buy a running car, if you want to build a big rim car, and, uh, you know, you just want to ride nice, you don't care about the performance too much, it'll be way cheaper than this. You know, if you're doing stuff for for yourself, it'll be way cheaper because you can find a nice car, nice looking car for about five, $5,000 on, you know, talking about Chevy or something. The G-Body price, boy, they, they, got, they send the G-Body prices through the roof right now. But... You can find a nice box Chevy about five, four or five thousand. Well, down here we can. Nice. And you can buy you a nice set of wheels used or whatever. And then you got your car. You know, you throw your system in there. You probably can get away with about $7,000. Have a nice little decent car. It won't be a performer or nothing. But, you know, I'm just saying it's other ways to do it. So, uh, so yeah, man. That's it. Like I said, another talking video. But. I thought that was pretty interesting. People been wanting to know, so that was a little breakdown. And as I go on, and when I officially end this series and the car fire up and got the pipes on and everything, then I do an official breakdown, put the stuff on the screen and all of that. 
and do links in the description so you know you know where to go if you want to get the stuff but yeah man that's it that's it like uh it's crazy man still add up still add up before you know it so that's it man i'm gonna, like i said next video i'm probably gonna be going to summit i'm gonna try to get it in before the month ends try to get y'all at least one or two more videos before the month end because uh racing season kicked on the way man i'm gonna be traveling a lot I'm probably going to be in Texas, man. For my out-of-state people, I might be going to Texas probably March the 27th to 28th. So I might be out there. Uh, I think it's Extreme Raceway. I think that's what it is. I don't know. So I might be out there filming. Uh, I'll let, I let y'all know for sure. i get that flight. I finally get that flight confirmed and all of that. Which I'm probably going to take care of tonight or tomorrow. I'll let y'all know for sure. But... Uh, other than that, man, I appreciate everybody. I appreciate all the love, especially on the last video, man. Last video went crazy. I know people gonna like that. I appreciate y'all. I, I read all the comments, man. I see people from everywhere, man. Y'all show love from everywhere. Like, I really appreciate y'all uh, a lot, for real. And, uh, what else? I think that's it, man. That's it. Uh, like I said, I really appreciate the love y'all showing all that. And uh, I appreciate the I appreciate y'all salt shakers too. All of y'all too. Always, always. Every time y'all comment, man, I love it. <laughs> I love it, man. Sonic coins, <laughs> for real. But yeah, that's it. That's it, y'all. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. I'ma catch y'all next one. I'm out.